Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gara Benton, and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be going over my third place Phantom Knight deck profile that I took to my locals this weekend. I lost to, I went, uh, lost to Virtual World and that's because I wasn't prepared for the matchup, I didn't know how to play against the matchup. I know I should have prepared more, but let's get on with the deck profile. So, starting off... We played triple the Phantom Knight's Torn Scales with my lovely Starlight Rare. Um, if what this card does is you can discard one card and send one Phantom Knight's card from your deck to the graveyard, except uh, Torn Scales. And then if your Phantom Knight's card is banished from your graveyard, you can special summon Torn Scales. So the com basic combo is you use Torn Scales. Torn Scales sends the nice little uh, Ancient Cloak, which we play two copies of. And then you Banish Cloak. Cloak will then let you summon, or you Banish Cloak to search out the Boots. And then you can special the Boots and go into Cherubini with Torn Scale and Boots. That's the kind of basic Torn Scales combo if you don't have an extender. Um, so we play two cloak, three boots with that. And then we play one gloves. The gloves never really came up. I may cut it and play uh, play another level three extender because this can't be special summon. It's just a normal summon. But it is what it is. That's it for the Phantom Knight uh, monsters. And then we played six hand traps three Ash, and then three Ogre for my hand traps. My locals had a lot of decks that lose to Ogre, so that's why I played Ogre. If you're playing in like Remote Duels or an Extravagance or something like that, this should probably be Droll and Lockbird, but I tell you always want to tailor your hand traps to your locals, which is what I did. And then for my Mountain of one of cards, one tour guide. Um, I only own one tour guide. I kind of built this deck last minute. This should be played at three, 100%, and I'll tell you which cards I'd cut for the second and third tour guide. Uh, one Kagamuchi Knight. I only own one Kagamuchi Knight, but this goes along with tour guide really well because the chain box, the tour guide, I play three of this as well. Um, one Gillosaurus, a, probably the worst level three extender, um, unless you're going first, because this lets you special this lets your you special summon this card, but your opponent also specials a monster from the graveyard. This is one of the cards I threw in because I didn't have a Tor Guide or Kagamucha Knight. Uh, same thing with Junk Forward. These two would probably be the second and third Kagamucha Knight, even though I may keep Junk Forward if I cut the uh, the gloves. And then Psychic Wielder, Psychic Tracker, uh, if you control a level 3 monster, you can special summon each of those once per turn. And then we played one Suchinoko, one Jackalope. These cards are really good because, especially with Torn Scales, if you draw Jackalope, Jackalope and Torn Scales, you can Jackalope, you can Torn Scales discard the Jackalope, then Jackalope summons Suchinoko, and there's your extender. And then cards that we use for the combo. We play one Seer, one Libic, and one Grass, uh, Graph of the Burning Abyss. This goes kind of with the Cherubini combo, which you guys will see in the combo and, and dual video, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, once you guys, once it's uploaded, if you guys are seeing this afterwards, then there'll be a card on the screen t going towards it. And those are for all of our one of extenders and starters. And then we played one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes, because we are playing Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Hopefully Dragoon won't get hit on the next upcoming ban list, and this deck won't be um, unplayable in a week. That's it for the monster cards. We will move on to the spells, playing three Forbidden Droplet and two Tactical Talents. These are the other two tour guides. I would take these out for tour guide, but... I didn't have the tour guide, so I had tactics in my binder. That's what I played. Um, these didn't really come up that much because nobody really hand trapped me. Uh, but Droplets is amazing. Stops the Vanity's Ruler. Stops Herald of Ultimateness. It stops Vanity's Ruler. Um, I think I stopped uh, Crusader Equimax. It's just really, really good. And then for my one of spells, one Rota, 
one Monster Reborn, one Called by the Grave, and one Red Eyes Fusion. Pretty self-explanatory. And then for my traps, I play Triple Fog Blade, and then the one Shade Brigadine. Pretty self-explanatory. These are staples in Phantom Knights. And that's it for my 41 card main deck. Um, you can cut. I, I play one extra extender to make it 41 because I like 41 card decks better. Don't ask me why, it's just what I do. Um, but yeah, moving on to the extra deck for our Link Monsters. Played one Link Spider, one All Mirage for our Link Ones. Uh, All Mirage is really good if you are just, if you brick and you're just needing to end on Dragoon and that's it. You can normal summon any of your Phantom Knights or a lot of the extenders. And. Uh, just going to All Mirage, but with the Phantom Knights, you can uh, go into All Mirage, banish them, search out Shade Brigadine, and then you can go ahead and Shade Brigadine into Link Spider and go into Dragoon. Then we play one Cherubini for the combo, one IP if we need a Link 2, Predaplant for the combo and making Dragoon, Rusty for the combo, and this card is absolutely busted. Then we played one Nightmare Unicorn, uh, one Appaloosa, this card comes up sometimes, and then Access Code to round off our Link Monsters. And then for our Xyz, we play two Breaksword. This card is absolutely busted when you're trying to make Redoer, um, because you pop itself and then you summon two Phantom Knights back that are level, to make them level fours. Go into Redoer, uh, Levier, three Doer, and then one really cool thing about Redoer in trap matchups is you start gaining materials, gaining materials, gaining materials, and if you, once you have like three materials on Redoer and you attack with it, then you go into Zeus and you have a four card Zeus, and then you still have the really awesome effects of Redoer until you go into the Zeus, and then you have Zeus to clear their board and, and attack for game. Really, really nice. Also got a Starlight Zeus this week, which I'm really happy about. And then Red Eyes Dark Dragoon making our 15 card extra deck. Moving on to the side deck, uh, just kind of a generic side deck. Three Joel and Longbird for the Drytron matchup. Uh, one Alpha, one Pankertops. Uh, didn't really have to side these in because um, the only matchup where I would really want these is if I went second against Crusadia, which I never had to. Um, those are the monsters. Spells for our back row and monster removal, three lightning storm, and I have a lot of back row decks in my locals, so I have three cosmic cyclone. There's some decks in my locals that lose Thragaki, so I, I wanted to play four uh, anti monster cards, and I wanted to play at least four anti spells and traps. And if I'm playing against a dedicated like trap stun deck, then I have seven outs to that. So that's what these ratios were for. And if I needed anti-monsters, then I had uh, the six for going second. And then for just anti-trap decks, I also had the Red Reboot and Imperial Order. But yeah, guys, that is it for this Phantom Knights deck profile. Like I said, I will have a combo tutorial posted tomorrow for this deck. And if you guys want to see more deck profiles, if you guys want to see budget deck profiles, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to try and get back to uploading more regularly. And yeah, without for, and that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.